Zen 1 Ryzen 1000 series. In 2017, AMD launched the Ryzen 1000 series, built on the first Zen architecture. This was AMD's comeback after nearly a decade of struggling against Intel. For the first time in years, AMD offered CPUs with high core counts at affordable prices. The Ryzen 7 1800X, for example, delivered 8 cores and 16 threads, which was unheard of in mainstream processors at the time. These chips were manufactured on a 14 nanometer process and used the AM4 socket, which became AMD's long-lasting desktop platform. Zen 1 CPUs brought simultaneous multi-threading, AMD's equivalent of Intel's hyper-threading, allowing each core to handle two threads at once. This gave a major boost in workloads like video editing, 3D rendering, and compiling code. While gaming performance wasn't quite as strong as Intel's core i7 chips in 2017, mainly due to lower instructions per cycle, or IPC, Ryzen CPUs offered much better value for multi-core performance. For PC builders, this meant you could finally get a processor with workstation-like power without paying Intel's premium. The Ryzen 5 1600 quickly became a bestseller for its balance of six cores and low price, while the Ryzen 7 1700 and 1800X targeted enthusiasts and content creators. Zen Plus Ryzen 2000 series. In 2018, AMD refined the design with Zen Plus, used in the Ryzen 2000 series. These processors moved to a 12 nanometer process, which allowed for slightly higher clock speeds and improved power efficiency. They also introduced Precision Boost 2 and XFR2, technologies that automatically pushed clock speeds higher under the right thermal and power conditions. Latency was also improved, particularly in cache and memory access, which helped performance in gaming and other tasks sensitive to response time. The Ryzen 7 2700X became the flagship with eight cores and 16 threads, and it shipped with AMD's Wraith Prism Cooler, which gained attention for its RGB lighting and strong cooling performance out of the box. While Zen Plus wasn't a radical redesign, it polished the first generation and fixed many of the weaknesses of Zen 1. For example, gaming benchmarks showed noticeable improvement thanks to lower memory latency, and the chips maintained AMD's advantage in multi-threaded workloads. For buyers, this was the point where AMD wasn't just the cheaper option, it was starting to become competitive in both performance and value. Zen 2 Ryzen 3000 series. In 2019, AMD released Zen 2 with the Ryzen 3000 series. This was the breakthrough moment when AMD moved ahead in technology. Zen 2 was built on a 7 nanometer manufacturing process, making it the first mainstream desktop processor line to shrink below 10 nanometers. The design used a chiplet architecture, small 7 nanometer CPU chiplets connected to a 12 nanometer I.O. die. This allowed AMD to scale cores efficiently without making one massive chip, reducing costs and improving yields. The Ryzen 9 3900X brought 12 cores and 24 threads to the mainstream AM4 socket, while the 3950X went even further with 16 cores and 32 threads. Before Zen 2, those numbers were only possible on workstation CPUs, costing thousands of dollars. AMD also introduced PCIe 4.0 support, doubling bandwidth for graphics cards and NVMe SSDs, making Ryzen 3000 systems a favorite for enthusiasts who wanted bleeding-edge features. Gaming performance improved as well, thanks to better instructions per cycle and higher boost clocks. The Ryzen 5 3600 became one of the most popular CPUs of the decade, offering 6 cores, 12 threads, and excellent efficiency at a mid-range price. Zen 2 firmly established AMD as the go-to choice for multitasking and productivity, while closing most of the gap with Intel in gaming. Zen 3 Ryzen 5000 series. In 2020, AMD launched Zen 3 with the Ryzen 5000 series, and this was the turning point where AMD finally beat Intel in gaming performance. Zen 3 redesigned the core layout by combining eight cores and a large cache into a single complex, reducing communication latency between cores. This improved instructions per cycle by around 19%, the largest leap in Ryzen's history. The Ryzen 95900 
5950X and 5950X became the new flagships with 12 and 16 cores, while the Ryzen 55600X turned into a bestseller for gamers. For the first time, reviewers consistently showed Ryzen outperforming Intel's core i9 and i7 chips not only in productivity, but also in high frame rate gaming. Another key factor was efficiency. Despite offering more cores, Zen 3 CPUs delivered excellent performance per watt, and they were fully compatible with many older AM4 motherboards through BIOS updates. This meant upgraders could drop a Ryzen 5000 chip into an older system and instantly unlock top-tier performance. With Zen 3, AMD achieved what had once seemed impossible, leading the market in both gaming and multi-threaded workloads, forcing Intel to rethink its strategy. Zen 4, Ryzen 7000 series. In 2022, AMD introduced Zen 4 with the Ryzen 7000 series. This generation required a brand new socket, AM5, ending the long run of AM4. With AM5 came support for DDR5 memory and PCIe 5.0, giving Ryzen access to the latest high bandwidth technologies. The chips were built on a refined 5 nanometer process with a 6 nanometer I.O. die, pushing efficiency and performance higher than before. The Ryzen 97950X led the lineup with 16 cores and 32 threads, while the Ryzen 77700X and Ryzen 57600X targeted gamers and mainstream users. AMD also introduced X3D models, which used 3DV cache technology. By stacking extra cache directly on the CPU, AMD dramatically boosted gaming performance. The 7800X3D quickly gained a reputation as one of the fastest gaming CPUs available, often outperforming chips with higher core counts. Zen 4 also improved efficiency, with higher boost clocks reaching above 5 GHz while still keeping power draw under control compared to rival processors. However, one challenge for buyers was the cost of the new platform. DDR5 memory and AM5 motherboards were initially expensive, making Zen 4 adoption slower than AMD's earlier launches. Zen 5, Ryzen 9000 series. In mid-2024, AMD officially launched the Zen 5 architecture with the Ryzen 9000 desktop processors, known as Granite Ridge. The first models arrived in August 2024, including the Ryzen 59600X, Ryzen 79700X, Ryzen 99900X, and Ryzen 99950X. These chips are built on TSMC's 4 nanometer process and bring an average 16% instructions per cycle uplift over Zen 4, along with higher boost clocks and improved power efficiency. Zen 5 maintains support for the AM5 platform, ensuring compatibility with existing DDR5 memory and PCIe 5.0 motherboards. The Ryzen 99950X continues to offer 16 cores and 32 threads, but with faster per-core performance compared to Zen 4 flagship. AMD has also confirmed that X3D cache variants of Zen 5 are on the roadmap, aimed at extending Ryzen's lead in gaming performance. This generation strengthens AMD's position not only against Intel's latest desktop CPUs, but also against Apple's M-series and other ARM-based competitors. As efficiency, AI acceleration, and sustained multi-core performance become central to the CPU market. Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, Ryzen 9 tiers. AMD's Ryzen lineup is divided into clear tiers, making it easier for buyers to match performance to their needs. Ryzen 3 is the entry level, usually offering four cores and up to eight threads. It's best suited for basic tasks like web browsing, schoolwork, office applications, and light gaming. While affordable, it delivers more power than older budget CPUs, such as AMD's Athlon line. Ryzen 5 is the mainstream option, often with six cores and 12 threads, and sometimes eight cores depending on the model. These CPUs balance price and performance, making them the most popular choice for gamers and general users. A Ryzen 5 can handle modern games at 1080p, as well as video editing and streaming. Ryzen 7 pushes into high-performance territory. With 8 cores and 16 threads, Ryzen 7 chips are aimed at gamers, streamers, and content creators who need strong multitasking power. They often perform at the sweet spot for high-end gaming, especially with X3D cache variants that enhance frame rates. Ryzen 9 is the flagship tier, delivering 12 to 16 cores with 24 to 32 threads. These processors are designed for professionals, creators, and enthusiasts who want maximum performance for workloads like 3D rendering, heavy video production, or scientific computing. While over
overkill for simple tasks, Ryzen 9 CPUs provide future-proof power for users who need the fastest consumer chips available. Ryzen Threadripper Launched in 2017 alongside the first Ryzen generation, Threadripper marked AMD's entry into the high-end desktop, or HEDT, market. Threadripper CPUs brought workstation-level performance to consumer platforms by offering extremely high core counts. The first models started with 8, 12, and 16 cores, but later versions scaled all the way up to 64 cores and 128 threads. Threadripper chips are physically massive and require unique TR4, STRX4, or newer TRX50 sockets, along with robust motherboards designed for their power and bandwidth. A hallmark of Threadripper is its huge number of PCI Express lanes, often up to 128 in pro variants, which makes it ideal for systems with multiple graphics cards, high-speed storage arrays, or specialized expansion cards. For professionals, Threadripper quickly became an Intel HEDT killer as it provided more cores, better pricing, and competitive single-threaded performance. These CPUs excel in video editing, 3D modeling, virtualization, and scientific workloads. While they consume more power and cost significantly more than mainstream Ryzen chips, Threadripper redefined what desktop users could expect in terms of raw computational capability. In July 2025, AMD expanded the line with Zen 5-based Threadripper 9000 and Threadripper Pro 9000 processors. These models deliver up to 96 cores and 192 threads in the Pro series, support faster DDR5 memory, and offer full PCIe 5.0 bandwidth. With these launches, Threadripper continues to dominate the workstation and HEDT markets, offering performance levels that blur the line between desktop and server computing. Ryzen APUS G Series. Alongside standard Ryzen CPUs, AMD also produces APUS, short for accelerated processing units. These combine traditional CPU cores with integrated Radeon graphics on the same chip. APUS are designed for users who need a single processor that can handle both everyday computing and light graphics tasks without requiring a dedicated graphics card. In desktops, Ryzen APUs are marked with a G at the end of the model name, such as the Ryzen 5 5600G. These chips typically feature 4 to 8 CPU cores with integrated Vega graphics. While not as powerful as a standalone GPU, the integrated graphics are capable of running esports titles like League of Legends, Fortnite, or CSGO at reasonable settings. For budget systems, office PCs, or small form factor builds, APUS provide excellent value by reducing the need for extra components. In laptops, Ryzen APUS are even more common. They allow thin and light machines to balance strong CPU performance with decent integrated graphics, making them competitive against Intel's offerings with Iris X. Over the years, AMD has steadily improved their APU graphics, making them some of the strongest integrated GPUs in the market. Mobile Ryzen UHHX series. For laptops, AMD uses a different naming convention to signal performance levels and power limits. Ryzen U series processors are the ultra-efficient models, with lower power draw, usually between 15 and 28 watts. These are designed for ultrabooks, thin laptops, and everyday productivity. Ryzen H series chips are built for high-performance laptops, such as gaming notebooks or mobile workstations. They typically run at 35 to 45 watts, with higher clock speeds and more cores than the U series. Ryzen HX models go even further, offering unlocked performance for enthusiast gaming laptops, sometimes exceeding 55 watts of power for maximum speed. Mobile Ryzen processors range from Ryzen 3 up to Ryzen 9, just like their desktop counterparts, and they scale in cores and threads accordingly. Paired with either integrated Radeon graphics or discrete GPUs, they've become a major force in the laptop market. By 2023, many gaming laptops adopted Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9 CPUs because of their excellent balance of performance and efficiency. With the steady evolution of APUS and mobile Ryzen processors, AMD positioned itself not only as a leader in desktops and workstations, but also as a strong competitor in laptops, an area once dominated almost entirely by Intel. I made an awesome video about every CPU architecture, so don't forget to watch it later, okay?